Kevin here from Capital Tech Solutions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up local delivery within Shopify without having to use an app. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to come over here on the left and you want to click Settings and then you want to come over and click Shipping and Delivery. Now once you're on the Shipping and Delivery page, you then want to scroll down to over to the Local Delivery section and you'll see here you'll have all of the locations that you offer. So right now I just have one location set up um, you might have multiple locations, you'll see each one in there, and then you can actually set up local delivery for specific locations. So, like I said, I only have one location, so I'm going to go ahead and set it up for this one. Um, you want to make sure and check this location offers local delivery. Once that's checked, you can now go through the process of setting it up. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to set up the delivery area. So there are two types. There's a delivery radius, and then there's postal codes. So the first one, delivery radius, is pretty straightforward. You basically set up a mile radius around the location. So in this example, I'm going to set up a 10 mile delivery radius. If a customer is within that 10 mile radius, then they get the local delivery. If they're outside, then unfortunately they don't get that local delivery. The same thing goes with postal codes, but this time you put in each postal code that you deliver to. If a customer is within that zip code or that delivery code, then they can have the local delivery option. If that, if their postal code is not within that list, then they don't get to use the local delivery option. So like I said, for this example, I'm gonna do a delivery radius. And then now we wanna come down to local delivery at checkout. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna set up a delivery price. Now by default, Shopify sets it at free, but for this example, I'm gonna set it at $5. I'm going to keep the minimum order price at $0, but this one is basically if a, the customer has to spend a certain amount in order to receive the local delivery. For this example, they don't have to spend a certain amount. If they have that product and they're within the delivery radius, then um, they can go ahead and select local delivery. But let's say you want to set it up where the customer has to spend at least $30 in order to get local delivery, then that's where you put that in there. And then now you want to provide the customer with some delivery information. For this example, I'm just going to let them know that they'll receive a notification regarding their um, delivery time once they check out and the order is complete. And as you can see, this is what it will look like at checkout. So that's all good to go. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save, and now that's set up. I'm going to show you two examples of what this looks like on the customer's end. So the first one is for a customer who's within that 10 mile radius. So as you can see, they have two shipping methods. They have free shipping and they have local delivery. So once they select local delivery, you'll notice that two things pop up underneath. Their mobile phone number and delivery instructions. This is where the customer, they put in their mobile phone number. So if anything happens where maybe you show up to their door and they don't answer, then you can go ahead and give them a call. So it's really nice for you. And then, the customer can then put in delivery instructions, so let's say they live within a gated community, then maybe they have to put in a gate code so that you know um, how to get past that and get to their, their house. The other example is for a customer who's outside of that 10 mile radius. So this one's pretty straightforward. As you can see, um, they only have one shipping method and that's free shipping because they are outside of that radius. Now, in another video, I do show how to set up tipping, which is great for local delivery because you, want, you might want to be able to offer the ability for your drivers to be tipped. So, like I said, I made another video for that, and I'll leave the description, or I'll leave the link to that in the description, so just click that. Um, if you have any questions about this video, please feel free to comment below. If you are looking for a Shopify expert to help you with your website, you can go ahead and contact us at CapitalTechSolutions.com and we can connect and help you get started with Shopify. Thank you.